What is the location of cavernous sinus? It lies on either side of the body of sphenoid. What is the medial relation? Pituitary gland. What lies within the cavernous sinus? Internal carotid artery and abducent nerve. What are the veins and venous sinuses that communicate with cavernous sinus? Anteriorly, superior and inferior ophthalmic veins and spinoparietal sinus. Posteriorly, superior and inferior vitreosa veins. Superiorly, superficial middle cerebral vein and small cerebral veins. Inferiorly, pharyngeal and pterygoid venous plexus. Show me the nerves and vessels related to mandible. The terminal branches of the external carotid are related to the mandible. Superficial temporal artery is related to the medial side of the neck. And maxillary artery is related to this area. And it gives two branches in this area. One is mylohyde artery. It's, it passes through the mylohyde groove in this area. This is the mylohyde groove. And other other branch is the inferior alveolar nerve. It passes through the mandibular foramen. This is the mandibular foramen. Inferior alveolar nerve pass also passes through the mandibular foramen. It gives mylohyde nerve before entering the mandibular foramen. The mylohyde nerve passes through the mylohyde groove with mylohyde artery. Inferior alveolar nerve and inferior alveolar artery pass through the mandibular canal and their branches emerges from the mental foramen as mental artery and mental nerve. And the other branches of them passes through the incisive canal. The facial artery and vein is related to this area of the mandible. Marginal mandibular nerve of the facial nerve is related to this area. The mesenteric nerve and artery is related to this area of the mandible. How facial vein is formed? By the union of supraorbital and supratrochlear veins at the medial angle of the eye. What is the dangerous area of the face? The area bounded by corners of mouth and the nose of bridge, including nose and maxilla. How can the infection of this area spread to cavernous sinus? Superficial infections can spread through superior and inferior ophthalmic veins, which connect facial vein to cavernous sinus. Deep infection of face can spread through deep facial vein, and pterygoid venous plexus. How cavernous sinus damage can cause paralysis of extraocular muscles? Abducent nerve which travels through the sinus supplies lateral rectus muscle. Trochlear nerve which travels in lateral wall of the cavernous sinus supplies superior oblique muscle. Ocular motor nerve which also travels in Lateral wall of the sinus supplies other four extraocular muscles, medial rectus, inferior oblique, superior rectus, and inferior rectus. So, damage to cavernous sinus can cause damage to these nerves too. Nerve damage leads to paralysis of dead muscles. What are the other clinical features of cavernous sinus thrombosis? Headache periorbital edema, exophthalmos. Why headache occurs? Intracranial pressure increases due to venous blockage in this condition. It stretches the dura mater which is supplied by trigeminal nerve. Trigeminal nerve also supplies forehead. So, referred pain over forehead feels as a headache. Which branch of trigeminal nerve is responsible for the innervation of the skin of forehead? Ophthalmic branch of trigeminal nerve. What are the branches of that nerve? Frontal nerve, lacrimal nerve and nasociliary nerve. 
what are innervated by maxillary division of trigeminal nerve. Skin of lower eyelid, cheek and temple, teeth of the upper jaw and nasopharynx. What is the ganglion associated with maxillary branch of trigeminal nerve? Pterygopalatine ganglion. Where is it located? At pterygopalatine fossa.